together and learn about God. Oh, hey friends, and welcome to Grow TV. I'm Steve. I was just about to make a batch of cookies, my favorite cookies, chocolate chip. But I don't bake that often. Okay, not often at all. Maybe a few times. Okay, never. This is my first time actually. So I decided to be a smart cookie and look up some common hazards or dangers when it comes to cooking. I never knew that cookies could be so dangerous. For starters, I can slip. Yeah, that's right, slip and fall. Say a blob of cookie dough falls on the ground and I didn't see it. I can slip, fall, bam, hit right on my head. Then I might forget my name, where I come from, where I'm at. I'd be thinking, why does it smell like cookies? Are they for me? Is it my birthday? Wait, did I forget my own birthday? Or I can get poisoned. Yeah, you see, I like cookie dough. Who doesn't? But apparently if you eat too much of it, you can get sick. I guess it has raw eggs in it. I thought cookie dough was a super healthy food. I mean, it's raw, like raw vegetables. That's the same thing, right? Or I could get burned. The cookies have to get really hot to bake. And then apparently you're supposed to use these things called oven mitts to take them out the oven. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. I'm supposed to smell delicious cookies baking in the oven and then use these mitts to separate me from the deliciousness? Whoa, these are kind of nice. They're so soft and, and warm. They keep me safe and, hey, they look cool. Cool mittens. You baking something? I don't smell anything. I was about to make cookies, but I haven't started yet. But you have your oven mitts on. You can't be too safe. Baking is a dangerous business. I think I'll just keep these on throughout the whole process. Hmm, let me get started here. Um, need some help? Nope, I'm doing great, thanks. I think your fear has kind of gotten away from you here, Steve. If you follow a guide to making cookies, it'll help you do it safely. And I doubt it says to keep your oven mitts on the whole time. Yeah, I guess so. It's okay though. We all get scared sometimes. Even the prophet Elijah got so scared once that he ran for his life. Really? Yeah, and God had to guide him through that fear. It's in a story from 1 Kings chapter 19. Elijah was God's prophet who shared God's message with the people. He challenged King Ahab and the prophets of a god named Baal to see whose god was the real god. Of course, Elijah won the contest because God is the real god. Yeah, but I bet that didn't make the king too happy. Or the queen. King Ahab told Queen Jezebel what happened. Jezebel did not follow God. She followed the fake god Baal. She was extremely angry about this. She wanted to capture Elijah, or worse. Ooh, okay. I'm beginning to see why Elijah was so afraid. Making kings and queens angry is just an activity just as dangerous as baking cookies. Well, maybe slightly more so. So Elijah was very afraid, so he ran away. He found a place to rest and pray to God. He thought this was the end for him. He told God how he felt and he fell asleep. In 1 Kings 19, five to six, it says, all at once an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. What? The angel was baking without oven mitts? I think angels can do that. <laughs> oh, also that nap, after a nap, oh, that's just next level. Well, Elijah was exhausted and scared. He didn't know what else to do. The angel came back and woke him up again. The angel told Elijah to get up and eat again. God knew that the journey ahead for Elijah would be tough. In verse seven, it says, the angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, get up and eat for the journey is too much for you. Whoa, God really understood what Elijah was going through. And gave him what he needed to carry on. 
After eating, Elijah felt stronger. He was able to travel 40 days and 40 nights until he reached a place called Horeb, the mountain of God. Elijah stayed in the cave there and was safe. 40 days and nights? That must have been some bread. Elijah felt scared and unsafe. God led Elijah to safety where he could eat and rest. We experience situations in life that can make us feel unsafe sometimes. In those times, God's words can comfort us and help us feel safe. God also gives us safe people we can talk to about what is going on. Whether we are scared because of some kind of danger or because we're feeling lost and aren't sure what to do, we can remember Elijah's story. And we can remember that God guides me when I'm scared. Hey, you are right. There are guidelines here that can help me to make sure that I am safe from baking cookies. Hmm, that makes me feel a lot better. Great. I've never been in a situation like Elijah was in, but I've been plenty scared many of times outside of baking cookies. Yeah, the world can be a very scary place. I've kind of always thought that following God would keep me out of scary situations, but that's not always true. Look at what happened to Elijah. Yes. Scary things happen even when we're following God, unfortunately. But God promises to guide us. We might not have to stand up to queens and kings, but we might have to make a decision that isn't popular or stand up for someone that no one else is standing up for. I've definitely been in those situations before and it's definitely scary. But Elijah's story makes me feel like God's always there to guide me. When I feel like I'm at a dead end, God will be there to remind me that I'm not. God can give you courage and strength to carry on. And though things may be scary for a while, God wants to guide us back to safety just like God did for Elijah. Whether we're baking cookies, standing up to false gods, or facing life, we can always remember that God guides me when I'm scared and God guides you too. It's been fun almost baking cookies with you and learning Bible stuff with you. It is always good to learn and grow together. We'd better get baking. Crystal, you wanna help? For sure. Okay, cool. See you next time, guys. Bye.